property in one column. You can have uh, subpart F income that has uh, previously taxed income that can be in another column. And then we also have other earnings and profits. And so sometimes people forget that there are these different categories. And this is important because when the foreign company makes a distribution, we're allowed to receive as tax-free income the amount that we've already picked up in taxable income, either under the investment U.S. property rules or the subpart of income rules. And another common error is that the balance sheet or Schedule M is completed in the local company currency of its country rather than in U.S. dollars. And Schedule D on page one of the form 5471 isn't completed for all the related parties that otherwise have to file the form. Schedule O is filed without an organization chart. We don't pick up the subpart of income that uh, we otherwise have to. The tax years don't match. Schedule M and Schedule O are not completed. The wrong filing category is identified on page one. The detail statements aren't provided for the mandated lines on the income statement balance sheet. Schedule H doesn't contain any EMP adjustments. This basically implies that the cumulative tax pool for the cumulative earnings and profits pool for that company is incomplete. So that we'll have the wrong denominator for our foreign tax credit calculations. We could very well have incorrect dollar pools because we're not making adjustments for uh, the tax items that have to be considered.